everybody what's up well it's time for a new video and today we're going to be doing a cartoon style desk okay it's a subscriber request video and that said let's get started here we go this video has been made possible by Luxion, the creators of Keisha Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video. So uh, we're gonna do more stylized objects because apparently you guys like that stuff. So we're gonna do kind of a cartoony desk, all right? So uh, that said, we're gonna start with a polygon cube and we're gonna hit R, we're gonna scale that out. And let's uh, push that in until we're happy with the, the top there. And let's do something like this. And let's see if that's going to work for us. I would say so. Yeah, something like that, right? So we're going to pull that up. And then what we're going to do is go into Injured as Loop, Option Box, Multiple and Five. And then we'll put in five here and five there. Got some sirens going on outside. Not sure what that is. Anyway, we've got that, which is OK. Then we're going to go in, hit Q on the keyboard, and I'm going to go in to face and click and shift, double click this area, and then do the same here and the same here. We're going to control E to extrude, W to pull down. Uh, we're going to G to repeat, W to pull down again. G to repeat and W to pull down again. And G to repeat and W to pull down again. And that should be enough, I would say, yeah. And then we're going to go in here and we're going to adjust that flow a little bit. So it's supposed to be a bit cartoony. So we're going to go in here to Vertex. So we're going to take these and we're going to start to bring that in. Don't go nuts on that. Just a little. Like that. And then we'll do the same here, but more on the inside. So we'll move that out. And we might need to move this a bit more because it looks a bit thick. So and there you go. So that's what we have so far. Um, let's do a little test here. Let's hit three to preview smooth. That looks nice. We're gonna go back in. We're gonna go into injured as loop option box, set it to manual. And then what we'll do is we'll put one up here. Don't get too close to the end. Now that one needs to be level of course. So let's check that. And we'll hit W, we'll bring it down. That's right. Then we're going to go back in. And I think for the most part that should be all right, but we'll check. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. So now that we have that, we need to adjust a couple of things. Actually, let's go back. We need to have one more. And we'll do that, I would say around there. Okay, Q on the keyboard, three, and there you have it. All right, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go in and make some draws and whatnot. So uh, let's take a polygon cube, hard to scale it up, push it in, W to move it out. All right, we're not going to need the inside, so we're going to go in here and just delete that. And then we'll take this guy and we'll go into Injured Edge Loop, set that to multiple, which is still at five. We'll do five and five. We'll go in here, Q on our keyboard, object mode. Let's kind of bring that in a bit. We're going to W, that's going to be somewhere around here, so scale the whole thing down a bit. And 
that would be, I would say about there. After frame that, W to push that in. After frame it again, make it a bit thinner maybe. Three to preview smooth, not too bad. Now we do need to manipulate the shape a little bit. It's not cartoony enough, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna want to go back. We're gonna go to vertex. I'm going to select these middle three rows, hit B on the keyboard for soft select. And we're gonna hit R and we're gonna to start to kind of push it up like that. And then take the one in the middle here, increase the B, so hold on B and left click and drag. Kind of like that, right? We might need to scale the whole thing down a little bit, like so. But now if we hit three, that's perfect. So instead of doing a, um, a preview smooth, we're gonna go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. Let's hit B to turn off the soft select. There you go. And we're gonna use that again. So we're gonna hit Control D to duplicate. W to push down. We're gonna hit E to rotate. Hold down J until we're upright. And then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna hit R and we're gonna scale that down a little bit. And maybe scale this one down a bit too. So I think that's a bit better. And then we'll bring this one up a little. Okay. Now we're gonna need to have a grip on that one as well. And also we want to have some kind of draw here, right? So let's uh, copy this guy, Control D, W to move that over, move that up. Let's go in here. And we don't want to mess up that flow too much. So let's see if we can do this. Not happy with that. Let's do a new one. Okay, let's uh, bring that in here. Four for wireframe mode. R to scale that out. And push that up a little. That would be about it. We're going to pull that out. After frame, we're going to go in here, right click at a face, get rid of that face. Let's go into Injured Edge Loop. I think it's still set to five, and it is. Let's hit B to turn that off. And let's go back in and set it to, I would say, three, which should be fine. Hit Q on a keyboard, and there you have it. And then we're gonna go in here, and we're gonna do the same as before. So we're gonna go to Defer Text. Let's take that middle one hit B on our keyboard and then hit R and kind of stretch it out just a little. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna increase that impact so we don't stretch it out too much. Actually decrease the impact, sorry. That's better. And then we can do a little bit um, vertically. Let's see how we can get away with that. And there we actually need to increase that range. That's fine. Hit B on our keyboard. We're going to go to object mode. And we're going to scale the whole thing down just a little. Like that. And then we're going to hit W. We're going to push that in. And let's hit three to smooth that out. And we might need to bring it down just a little. So that's fine. Now let's create some handles. So for that, we'll take a, a donut or a torus or whatever it's called. Yep. We're going to go into the top. We're going to right click, go to face, take this half off, take this quarter off, take this guy. Control D to duplicate, W to move it over, E to rotate, hold down J, like this. Select both, mesh and combine. 
right click go to edge double click on this edge and shift double click on this edge and go to edit mesh bridge option box linear path eight and bridge and then we're going to go in here and select this one and shift select that one control e to extrude w to pull out like this g to repeat and pull out again like this all right so those are our handles let's go in here go to object mode w to move in and of course we need to scale it way 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 down let's get that to where it needs to be and let's make it a bit smaller and have a look all right so we've got one there we're going to control D to duplicate and W to move down we're going to want one there as well let's see if it works size wise I think it does and then we're going to hit control D again because we want one here and we're going to put that right there So that part looks okay. Then we need to have a, uh, a top. So we'll take a polygon cube, move that up, hit R, scale that out, push it in, stretch it out. Let's look at the top here. Okay, so we want that to kind of stick out a little bit on all ends like this. W to push down after frame that's about right so we're gonna go in here to injured edge loop which is still set to actually three let's say Q let's give it a try three to preview smooth shape wise not too bad we're gonna hit one we're gonna go back but we're gonna go in here to injured edge loop set it to three and put that in there so now if you go in here hit Q on a keyboard double click on this edge hit B for soft select hold on B and pull that in if we now hit R it should kind of shape that and it does all right so that's good we're gonna hit B to turn that off let's see if the thickness is too much it's actually not bad so uh, I can live with that we're going to go to mesh and smooth there you have it and then maybe we'll put a little elevated piece on the desk this guy can be smooth a bit more that's better okay so we have that let's do something on top there so we'll take another polygon cube we'll let W pull that up we'll let R to scale that out so this is going to be some kind of uh, elevated section to maybe put your computer on or whatnot. All right, so let's hit W, move that over here, bring it back. Let's go to edge loop and set that to four. All right, cool, cool. Q on the keyboard, let's hit W to move that up. Let's go in here and actually let's make that a bit thinner. So what we'll do is go back and set this to, actually set it to multiple and one because that will put one smack in the middle, one there and one there. Q on the keyboard, we can go in and select that one and that one. Control E to extrude, and W to push down, G to repeat, and W to push down again, and maybe one more time, G and W, and push down again. So let's do a smooth here, let's hit three. We want to go back. So what we want now is into those loop, uh, three. That should make a big difference. Hit one to go back. 
F3 to preview smooth. There you go. Okay. So there you go. Let's go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth. Let's hit W to move it down. Make sure it's making contact. And then just to be a bit playful about it, you might want to hit E and kind of rotate a little bit. Okay. Let's add maybe one more simple prop to it, maybe a book and an alarm clock or something, right? So we'll do a quick book. We'll uh, take a polygon cube and W to pull that up, R to scale that out like so, and then stretch it out a bit and push it in like this. Then we're going to go to Internet Edge Loop. Uh, it's still set to 3, which is perfect. So we'll do 3 right there. And we'll just go in here from, I would say, this U. Yeah. We're going to go in here to Vertex. We're going to take these 3. Come on. These 3. W to move. And then 1 and move like this. And this is supposed to be a book, so what we're going to do is we're going to go in here to face, 1 and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yep. Control E to extrude, let's tweak the offset outward. And give it some thickness like that, right? So that's our book, come on. Yep, we're going to W, we're going to push that down, we're going to hit R, we're going to scale that way in. Let's put that on the desk somewhere. Let's hit E and rotate that guy. Scale it down a bit more. Bring it over. Let's see if all is well. All right, and like I said, maybe do a simple alarm clock or something, okay? So alarm clock, uh, we'll take a polygon cylinder. We'll pull that up, E to rotate, hold down J, and make sure it's facing forward at 90 degrees, like this. Okay, what we're gonna do here is go into the attribute editor. Let's go in and set caps to I would say four, that would be fine. All right, and then we're gonna go in here and we're gonna right click on face and we're gonna click and shift double click, control E to extrude, W to move forward like this. And then we're gonna go back into edge, take that entire edge, and push that back a little bit. So we get something like that. We'll right click, go to vertex, drag like this, move it in like so. Then we want those typical bell thingies on top. Let's take a simple polygon sphere. Let's hit W to pull that up. Make that fairly low poly. Let's try 10 by 10. Yeah, that's fine. We're gonna cut half cut off half, maybe even more than half. I'm going to take this guy, we're going to hit W, we're going to move it down. Let's move this guy in a bit. Okay, so we're going to scale this down, hit W, move that down, and then from the front view, we're going to do one here. We're going to rotate it one, two, three times and kind of bring it in like this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in to duplicate special option box, negative one on X, duplicate special. No, nope, that's not right. That should be right. Yeah, that should be right. Hmm. 
not quite sure what the reason is there. Control D, E to rotate it, and we'll just do it this way. We'll double click on this, so we'll go to roll mode. There's a copy. There you have it. Not 100% sure what's going on there. I'll probably have an aha moment later. These two, let's go to mesh and combine. I think that looks okay. We'll need two little legs for it, or maybe just a simple cube. So let's uh, bring that up. Come on. After frame, part of the scale out. We're going to right click, go to vertex, drag selects. We're going to scale in that top part like this. W to move that up. Come on. After frame, R to scale down. W to pull up. And that will work. And that's fine for a low poly. Mesh and combine. Let's move that down here, put it on the desk, and then maybe scale it up a little bit. And then position it. Rotate that a little bit. And we might want to make sure that's touching our desk here, so let's do that. And we'll put in a quick floor. Just to give you guys a couple of simple ideas what you can do if you want to create kind of a stylized setup, right? So that's basically it, guys. I'll uh, put this guy into Keyshot to give it some color, uh, but that's basically going to be a drag and drop. So yeah, this is it. So if you got any questions or uh, requests that you want me to do, just let me know and I'll be happy to do it. Okay, just leave it in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe. Okay, see you guys next time. Bye.